Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here deep in the woods where they've done a lot of cross cutting, and we're here today to show you the construction attachments, compact root grapple. We're just going to show you some of the things that you'll be able to do with it if you get something like this to clean up all this debris and shrapnel that's around here. Kind of looks like a bomb went off, but we're going to take some of these smaller limbs and mid-sized trees, scoop them up, grapple them down, and load them in a big pile for cleanup later. This is the new completely redesigned root grapple from Construction Attachments. All the steel in this bucket is going to be a high grade, high tensile steel, T1 AR540, no mild steel in this machine. It's got the tine space where it's going to let the dirt and all fall through. It's got the nice round bar here which uses like a wheel so you're able to not, when you put your tines down in the ground, you're able to push these through the ground, get roots up to six or eight inches deep. And then the round bar just keeps it, it kind of works like a wheel, keeps it from trying to drive deeper into the ground. So you can get the angle you want for the depth you want, let it kind of roll on this round part here, and it makes it just go through the ground a lot easier. There's center cylinders, they're in the center, center of each independent grapple, so they are uh, independent. So if you've got a large load on one side and a small load on the other, they're gonna close at different angles, but at the same pressure. That way you get an even crimp on all of your stuff. All of the cylinder hitch plate and so forth is designed to give you extra strength right where your quick attach is putting all the force onto this bucket. So this grapple is rated up to uh, compact tractors up to 50 horsepower. Anything larger than that, then you'll go to the full size skid steer root grapple. So on this particular unit, you do have to have hydraulic controls. We use a third function valve. There's also a video on the third function valve just to give you an idea of how it works. I like to plumb my lines here to, and leave them. And I used to weld them solid in a plate and that looks really neat, but it kind of leaves it to where you end up with too much hose up here when it's fully up, and, but you have to have this hose to fully go down. So I kind of just like the idea of leaving them loose up here and it keeps all that from binding up on you. When you're using a root grapple, remember you're gonna have a lot of weight up here when you get a full load of brush and logs. So you always wanna have a good counterbalance. Today, right now, we've just got the uh, root rake on. It's not really heavy. It may be in the way. If it is, we're gonna take it off. What we would like to have back there is a box blade, but as soon as we're through cleaning up with this root grapple, we're gonna be using that uh, landscape rake to clean up all the fine debris and stuff. So if it gets in our way, we'll move it. If not, uh, just remember to keep some counterbalance. And just to show you how the third function valve works, up here on the handle I have two buttons, opening and closing. And I can also, I can open and close while I raise my loader, uh, and that's the good thing about a true third function valve. Okay, and with the root grapple, we found out real quick that that root rake with the long gauge wheels was just in our way, so we put our favorite tool back on for uh, counterbalance, and that's a box blade because it's fairly heavy, and it's only two feet behind the tractor instead of six.
Okay, so after you get your brush and stuff out of your way and you want to get the fine roots up out of your uh, area, this is for your root grapple. You're just going to put your tines down. We're going to go about six or eight inches under the ground and just scrape up all the little roots and everything that are going to be there so we can go ahead and get them out of the way, get them pulled up so we can get ready to sow. We did a pretty good one right there. So you just put your tines down till you get to that round bar, get the angle that you like, and get all those roots up off the top of the soil. Right now I've got it in the um, uh, draft position on the loader for the fully load. times over your road like this you'll have all your small roots and everything out and then of course you can always use a box plate to level it out. So you gotta miss the big stumps. So I'm gonna put my loader back in float position. this stuff up to get it out of my way. So this lets the majority of all the dirt come through those times because there's space to park just for that. And I'm going to go a little deeper on this path. I'm going to put my loader in float position, put a little angle on it, and then in just a couple quick passes, we're going to have the roots up out of this road. Smooth this thing down. up all the debris and very little dirt. 